Okay, magandang araw po muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome again sa ating channel, Sir Lopez Vlog. Sa araw na ito ay magkakaroon muli tayo ng self-evaluation dito sa subject na juvenile delinquency. Subject ito ng mga third year na naka-enroll sa kursong criminology. Okay, so ang mga kasagutan sa mga katanungan na ito ay makikita natin dito sa ating description box. Gayon din ang mga related videos concerning about this subject. Okay, so start na tayo sa question number one. A term used to describe a clinical condition among young children who have received non-accidental, inexcusable violence or injury ranging from minimal to severe or fatal trauma at the hand of an adult in a position of trust, generally a parent or guardian. Letter A, battered child syndrome. Letter B, incapacitated child syndrome. Letter C, abuse trauma syndrome. Or letter D, none of this. Number two, the negligent treatment or maltreatment of a child by a parent or caretaker under circumstances indicating harm or threatened harm to the child's health or welfare is known as letter A, child abuse, letter B, child neglect, letter C, child dilemma, or letter D, child in conflict with the law. Number 3. The exchange of sexual favor for money or other material goods without any emotional involvement involving a person under the age of 18 years is called letter A, child prostitution, letter B, child trafficking, letter C, both A and B are correct or letter D, both A and B are wrong. Number 4. Which of the following is an act committed by a juvenile for which an adult could be prosecuted in a criminal court? Letter A. Adult offense. Letter B. Status offense. Letter C. Delinquency offense. Or letter D. Child in conflict with the law. Number 5. The most common legal grounds for the termination of parental rights, also a form of child abuse in most states, is sporadic visits, a few phone calls, or birthday cards are not sufficient to maintain parental rights. A. Exploitation B. Abuse C. Neglect or Letter D. Abandonment Number six, which of the following is defined as act or omissions by a legal caretaker that encompasses a broad range of acts and usually requires proof of intent? Letter A, abuse. Letter B, exploitation. Letter C, neglect. Or letter D, abandonment. Number seven. The phase of a delinquency hearing similar to a trial in adult criminal court, except that juveniles have no right to a jury trial, a public trial, or bail. Letter A, acquittal. Letter B, conviction. Letter C, adjudication. Or letter D, entertainment. Number 8. Any of the processes involving enforcement of cares, custody, or support orders by an executive agency rather than by courts or judges. A. Criminal procedure. B. Administrative procedure. C. Summary procedure. Or letter D. Trial. Number 9. 
a legal relationship between the people biologically related usually terminating the rights of biological parents and usually with a trial leave-in period. Once it is finalized, the records are sealed and only the most compelling interest will enable disclosure of documents. Letter A, adoption. Letter D, foster parenting. Letter C, common law relationship. Or letter D, brotherhood. Number 10. What is the legal doctrine establishing courts as determiner of best environment for raising child which is an alternative to the parents' patri doctrine? Letter A. Rights of society. Letter B. Miranda doctrine. Letter C. Best interest of the child rule. Or letter D. Parental obligation. Number 11. The filing of legal papers by child. Number 11. The filing of legal papers by a child agency when its investigation has turned up evidence of child abuse. This is a civil rather than criminal. Charge designed to take preventive action like appointment of a guardian for at risk children before abuse occurs. Letter A, Child pro Prosecution. Letter B, Child Protection Action. Letter C, Parents Patry. Or Letter D, Preliminary Investigation. Number 12. The act of being responsible for enforcing child support obligations is known as A. Child care B. Parental guidance Letter C. Child at risk or Letter D. Child support Number 13 A court order for placement is a secure facility separate from adults for the rehabilitation of a juvenile delinquent. Letter A, summon. Letter B, subpoena. Letter C, custodial confinement. Or letter D, rehabilitation order. 14. Blank is anyone under the care of someone else, a child ceases to be a dependent when they reach the age of emancipation. Letter A, delinquent. Letter B, dependent. Letter C, independent. Or letter D, recognizance. Number 15. The independence of a minor from his or her parents before reaching age of majority is known as letter A, enlightenment, letter B, recognizance, letter C, emancipation, letter D, freedom from parental obligation. Number 16. A clause requiring government to similarly situated people the same or have good reason for treating them differently. Compelling reasons are considered to exist for treating children differently. A. Bill of Rights. Letter B. Equal Protection. Letter C. Parents Patry. Or Letter D. Diversion. 17. What is the legal doctrine preventing unemancipated children from suing their parents? Letter A, Parents Patri Doctrine. Letter B, Equal Protection. Letter C, Family Immunity Doctrine. Or Letter D, Poisonous Tree Doctrine. Number 18. What is the legal doctrine holding parents liable for injuries caused by a child's negligent 
driving or other actions a family purpose doctrine b family immunity doctrine letter c parents patri doctrine or letter d none of the above 19 guardian ad litem means letter a for the proceeding letter b protection of child by the law letter c guardians of the little children or letter d legal authority 20 a court order giving an individual or organization legal authority over a child a guardian of the person is usually an individual and the child is called a ward a guardian of the state is usually an organization like a bank which manages the property and assets of a child's inheritance guardians are usually compensated for their services letter a guardianship letter b order of authority letter c in loco parentis or letter d parents patre 21 teachers administrators and babysitters who are viewed as having some temporary parental rights and obligations are considered a guardianship B. Order of authority. Letter C. In loco parentis. Or letter D. Parents. Patre. 22. What is the legal doctrine establishing parental role of state over welfare of its citizens, especially its children? A. Guardianship. B. Order of authority. Letter C, in loco parentis, or letter D, parents, patri. 23. The emergency temporary custody by a child welfare agency, police agency, or hospital for reason of imminent danger to child is called letter A, preventive detention, letter B, diversion. Letter C, Witness Protection Program, or Letter D, Protective Custody. 24. What is the legal doctrine granting custody to the parents whom the child feels the greatest emotional attachment to? Letter A, Psychological Parent. Letter B, Maternity. Letter C, Paternity. Or Letter D, Parental Selection 25 Last number An activity illegal when engaged in by a minor but not when done by an adult Examples include truancy, corpio, running away or habitually disobeying parents Letter A Adult offenses Letter B Minor offenses, letter C, status offenses, or letter D, stubbornness. Okay, so good luck. Maraming salamat at natapos na natin ang ating self-evaluation sa subject na ito. Submit your answer. May link tayo dyan sa ating description box. Okay, so hanggang sa muli. Maraming salamat at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat.